but because he has the the cape uh, also the nav mesh agent we need to have that uh, turned off initially otherwise it'll stick to the ground and then the jump scare is not gonna work so let's turn him around and let's firstly come to figure trigger 2 open up the jump scare and on the start let's click locks so that way we can click an object without it going away we want to come here set property and enabled we want to have that off and then here we want to paste before and we want to enable it so that makes sense you want to make that every frame as well so that way we know it's enabled now you'll notice he's going to be up in the sky there boom oh no and then he's gonna we're gonna engage in our in our chase and the capes facing the right way which is nice this guy hasn't activated because we're coming the wrong way in the in the map but um, you can see the idea behind this so we want to firstly make an exit um, that's that's here so let's make this work on this guy um, this dude is just gonna chase us around but the main the main thing with this we could even pump his speed and we can change a lot of the options in here you got acceleration so maybe if we see if you pump this to six he's gonna be pretty quick um, following and you could even um, change the acceleration to 15 so he's pretty quick off his mark and that, that creates for a bit bit more of a, a chase um, might be a bit much, so let's make that, uh, ooh, what are we going to make it, like 4, okay, so 4 and 15, so we want to remember those, so 4 and 15, and stopping distance is actually how far away from the, the player you want him to be, boom, oh, oh, oh no, okay, so he's, he's pretty, pretty bit quick, I actually might make that, I might make the speed 5, um, oh boy, and then let's, um, how are we going to do this? How are we going to make this? Okay, so we could actually, let's make some stairs for here. And you can actually see that the world's actually baked the lighting. I didn't realize that, but that's um, that's why we're getting this really nice uh, direct illumination happening. So let's uh, make this like so. You can actually press F on your keyboard when you want to focus on something. Uh, let me bring this in. Let's rotate this. And make sure that's gonna that's, that's gonna look be pretty pretty good. And Enviro Cube. I'm gonna show you a cool little trick that we can do as well. To um, so that, that's gonna be pretty sweet. All right, so let's put that first stair down, and then we can just simply. And then the good thing about when you do it this way, you can actually then just send it to your game artists and be like, okay, well, this is the general flow that we want for the level. Go go do it. You don't want to spend too much time when you're doing an initial pass on um, on this kind of stuff, on all the modeling. You just want to kind of get a, the general overview. And then we can just uh, do something like that. Uh, maybe a couple more. All right, that looks pretty cool. Now let's uh, grab these walls. And I want to hide them, make them higher. That way we're kind of creating a bit of an alley, alley wall. And let's extend this guy. Cool, cool, cool. And all right, that's looking good. Let me just make it bring it down so it's in line with that and in line with that okay that looks good now we can grab this plane duplicate and let's just shove this down here and might mean this over here because it's going to kind of continue on in this direction all right now the trick i was telling you before how do you make it so when the player um, initially starts the level 
Um, so say we're back here and ooh, we triggered it. So when he's coming around this corner, how do we make it so he's not just like, ooh, stairs? How do we make it come around here? So what we're going to do, let's undo that. Uh, let's just duplicate this wall. And let's shove this guy in. We actually want to make this not static. Alright, put that there. I'm going to rename this, this wall to surprise wall. Just so we, we know that apart from all the other cubes and stuff that's happening. So in figure trigger 2, let's... Well, this, this wall's fine. And after that, let's make this. And then we want to... Action browser. We want to destroy an object. We want to actually destroy the surprise wall. So let's come into here now. Alright, so there's a wall there. Let's actually just trigger this guy so he's off our backs. Ooh. <laughs> um, now let's go back here. Alright, so let's trigger this guy. Oh no. Alright, so he's he's gonna he's gonna chase us. Oh no, oh this opening this opening wasn't here. I actually didn't look. Um so we're here. The guy probably can't follow us because we haven't actually baked um we haven't actually baked this guy in. So you can see these stairs aren't baked in. But we can bake that in there. Uh, let's bake this. I don't think these these cubes weren't Static, so let's make them static. Let's try that again. So this this stairs probably a little bit too low. Uh, that should be cool. Bake uh, max step height. There we go. Look at that. So you can actually come into this bake section and we can adjust that. Groovy. So let's do this all again. Let's come back here and activate this guy. Ooh. Okay. So the player's going to come around here and because there's light in here, he's going to be like, oh, there's not much, not much going on in here. All right, let's continue up this way. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is open. Uh, he's still on me. Okay. Um, and then we can set up something in here. Maybe we can activate... This can be like a, a first boss area where we can um, maybe figure out throwing objects or something at him to damage him. So let's set that up. So yeah, we, we're, getting, we're getting pretty good. We're probably around the hour figure now, so... That's looking quite nice, and we've we've developed quite a nice little setup here. Okay, let's work on this. Can be the boss area, the first boss area. All right, so let's drag these guys out. Oops, and drag this out. Drag this out a bit more. Bring this in. Alright, cool. And rotate this. Rotate this. Just so it feels nice and open to the player. Um, feels like he has options. <laughs> options more than he has at the moment while he's being chased by a guy with a capsule and a cape. Uh, which is very this is the game developer's worst nightmare. They'll be chasing him down the the street. Alrighty, okay, cool. And let's actually just rebake that. So it's gonna fix that that scene up. Now um, let's probably work on the the throwable objects. So let's um, so let's just test that. This is gonna be nice. All right, cool. Doesn't matter. This guy's here. Hello. Come down here. And so the player's going to be like, okay, we, we've got options. Um, and then we can put a couple of cubes and stuff in here. Excellent. Okay. Let's jump out of navigation. Let's save that. 
All right, so let's grab a couple more of these lights and just spread them around down here so that way 